On stream, though, we got, I think, Zanillite and Haruhazu up here. This is going to be a good match. I always love watching these two. I believe in the recent past, though, Zanillite has been having the advantage here. He does. He definitely knows the the matchup here against Machamp a lot better than Boston knows the Machamp matchup against Blastoise. It's probably because he's fought me so many times. We'll see how it goes. Good CADC right there at the start. And he's going to get that counter to take the first field phase. Zanillite throwing out the 8x. Big submission there from Haruhazu early on. Blastoise can take it, though. He's got the health to take it. Ooh, try to go for that cancel. Good on Zanillite to let go of that counter early. He's trying to get these six X's. Good on Haruhazu to keep spacing out. All right, Shield getting a little crispy. Oh, tries to go for another cancel. Zanillite not holding these counters. Really smart there. All right, getting the Emolga. That's nice. He gets him off of him out of the corner. Now it's the other, to the other side of the stage. Text that grab. Gonna get the shield break here. Goes for the grab reset. All right. He's gonna win that phase. He's in trouble here and being enraged. Haruhazu getting that JX. Good charge counter there, working out. Try to hit him with the floor's water, didn't work out, but he got the counter. All of a sudden, even game. One more hit will clean, will take it up for, for either one player. Throwing off the adults off. Gets the counter shield break, that's gonna be it. Gets that round, nice job there. All right, Hazu gotta really manage his shield a little bit there. Maybe a backdash on the reaction to the counter would've been a good, would've been good, or grab it, really. All right, nice. Getting counter that counter there. Bring him over 75% of the stage. 8x stuffing out Scary Face there. That was interesting known for Scary Face OP. Are right, gonna get the water pulse? Alright, so no, I'm sitting on a really good advantage here. Definitely showing off why he's been he's been winning off winning uh, these sets lately. Good reaction with that shield. Try to go for submission. Oh, too early for the perfect block. Oh, it doesn't get the combo, so light armor is helping uh, Zanillite there. Excuse me. Right, calling Ali Molga. Gonna get that hit. Going to the cross shot. Oh, man. I would have bursted there. 100% of Zanillite. But he's gonna go for this burst. Yo, Machamp actually eye framing through a burst. Oh, my God. You don't see that happen every day. All right. What's the mix-up? Oh, he could have gone for the grab there, taking it. Ooh, and the JX taking the vulnerable frames. Zanillite taking that first game there. Wow, that was, that was crazy. Zanillite has actually done that same setup to me so many times when we play in friendlies. Like, he, he just knows how to time that. So if you if you go for a fully charged counter there, because you, you react to the JX, you, you go for the counter just by, a, just by a guess, and then you react to the JX, so you want to keep charging the counter. But Zanilla like, just knows the timing for that, where he, he can just let, let loose a JX and uh, hit you right in the vulnerable, vulnerable frames if you charge the counter. Really good stuff there from, from both of these players here, but Zanilla like, really, really showing off his matchup knowledge here. It looks like we're going to have a little bit of switch of, from Haruhazu, which I do respect. I, I love how he just tries new things. Going right back into it. Going to Blue Dome. One of my favorite stages in the game. Favorite soundtrack. Right, going with the Frog Champ. Frog Champ is the truth. I also, I, I really like this too for, for Blastoise because you can use Frogadier as a bait for a rapid spin. You know that a lot of times Blastoise will try to rapid spin, try to get through the projectile for Frog Deer. But you, you can just really bait it, not go for anything, and just, you know, whiff punish the rapid spin or do whatever you want with it. But Haruhazu getting this full combo here. Nice job. He's going to choose to save his bulk up. going to press his advantage here in field phase, but Zanilla going to take that field phase with that rapid spin. Hit him with floor's water. Throwing out bubbles. Covering his back. Getting into water pulses, all oh, this is big damage right here. A 6x, 6x, more bubbles. All right, throwing out Frog, that covers him. 
saves him from a follow-up. Oh, tries to get a whiff punish there. It doesn't work out. Powerhouse is going to take that field phase. Boom, 8XX coming out. Oh, that's going to be a punish. Oh, doesn't get it. Oh. 2XX is minus 16, I believe. Are you throwing out 6Xs? Getting that 8Y conversion there. Powerhouse is getting the JX that time. Gonna use burst to try to pass his advantage here in the corner. The no light is in rage here, but he's gonna get that Evolt Tall, which is huge. Gets him out of the corner, gets him some synergy. Drops the combo a little bit. Oh, dangerous JX there. Our house is throwing out Frog and <laughs> Cross Chop there. That was nuts. Oh my god. If is the no light. If, if he shielded that Cross Chop, he could have done whatever he wanted. Because there's no way Frog can even. Could have came back there to help him out. Alright, Frog coming back again. Give him safe bulk up. I like that. Fully charged counter. He's minus 8. Stuffs out that counter. 5XX. Oh, tries to go for the full conversion there. It doesn't really work like that. Unfortunately, I'm going to get grabbed and punished. Actually, I would, I would take that grab. Like, honestly, but he could have done a lot more things. A lot more damaging things. So, grab in that. Ooh, nice grab there, though. Calling out the second rapid spin. But Zanilla, he's going to get that water spout. Big, meaty damage right there. He said, sit back down. You take this water. Here comes some more bubbles. Calling out Froggy Day in response. I like it. Zanilla, trying to press his advantage. Keep Haru housing in the corner. Goes for a six. That's, that could have been punished. But he's going to eat that burst there. It's gonna take, that's going to seal it around easy. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that 6x. You gotta be punishing those too. Alright, trying to go for air grab there. Uh, one for the you know what. Alright, Rappy's spinning through there, through the Frogadier there. Oh, the meatiest water pulse I've ever seen. He uses eat the fully blast cannon. Fully charged blast cannon. Oh, okay. Going for a submission. Good choice on the cancel. 8Y working out there for Zanillite. Scared a little bit too much. Probably just uncomfortable with the situation with the lights and everything. Took a big damage from that uh, submission there. Blocking the burst. All right. Oh, I like what Har Har is doing. He's just staying away there. Oh, but he goes for the jump. And this is going to hurt a lot. That's going to take it. Zanillite's going to take this 2 0. Oh. I like what. I, I really like what Har Har was doing there. Just walking back, letting Zanillite waste his burst a little bit. But yeah, the jumpy. The jump in there was really risky. And unfortunately, had to eat that 6x. Man, really good stuff there from, from Zanillite. And both players, really. I like some of the uh, thought process that Har Harzu was having and put into it.